No, we're pleased, you know, but it's, you know, I, I think the biggest thing about Tom, if you look at what he did today, was actually his work yeah. and, and the way he, he you know, he, he did all the unglamorous stuff that good players do. And, um, you know, we're pleased with him, Dan and Ledley. Um, you know, the big thing for, the, the, for the, the team is that, you know, the players who have been at the football club have done exceptionally well. So the players we bring in, they have to work as hard as what they did and, and have that little bit more quality. Um, but I'm pleased for the group. You know, it's the group that's taken us to where we are at the moment. It'll be the group that will decide whether you know we're good enough to stay in the Premiership or not. Tony, you saw us on Thursday that you were looking to share the goals around a bit more, and it didn't take the new boys too long to help you out there, did it? Yeah, but, you know, obviously Tom took um, took his goal with a plum really, and, and you know we've we've been moaning a little bit that we've not scored enough offset plays, and Joe's Joe's header was first class. The uh, penalty was quite. A well, looking back, it looks as though you know that uh, Ben. You know, it, it's easy to say afterwards, but it looks as though the referee's got it right. Ben has caught him with his foot, I think. So, you know, he touches it. Marianne touches it away, and then Ben comes through. I think it's his momentum that catches Shamak. Should possibly be sent off. In your it's up to the referee. I'm not. I'm not a great advocate for sending people off. I think there's people who spend a lot of money to watch games of football, and um, you know they want to see eleven against eleven. <laughs> No, I just wanted the game to get get over with. You know, I've got 96 minutes in me about n nothing else. But no, no, the, the crowd were fantastic today. I think that you know we told Glenn to keep warming up every 15 minutes to get the crowd going, but they don't need Glenn to keep them going. They they were absolutely wonderful again today. Look, you you've been telling us for ages it'd be a, a massive challenge for you to keep Palace up, but they're now uh, I think it's six, maybe seven teams below you who probably think it's going to be even more of a massive challenge for them. Now this, this we've we've got a very very tough run of games coming up. I think that the the important thing is that you stay focused. You know, I've, I've managed in the Premiership for six years now, and, and the one thing that um, you must never do, especially a club our size, is get complacent. And um, like I say, I'll be uh, I'll be watching Everton tomorrow. Um, they're there our next opponents away from home. They're a great side, top top football club, and we know how tough that's going to be. And then you know we follow that up with Manchester United at home. You know that's what the Premiership is like, and it can turn very very quickly. So you have to you stay focused and, and keep believing. Is that why it's important to get three points against perhaps you know lower league teams as distinct from those? That well, it's important that you keep picking points up, yeah. and I, th I think the, the, the great thing about today is that we've got another win, and, and wins in the Premiership are enormous. Today it's 16 points at home since you've come into it, what do you pull that down to? Is it, is it, is it, no, they, we, you know, we work very hard on certain things, and, and you, know, they, they, you, know, you hope that they will pay dividends. The other thing is that the group are a, a very, very good group of lads. You know, they might not be the most gifted, but you know, my God, do they work hard. And it was difficult out there today. You know, it was very, very windy, and the pitch, you know, dried up with the wind, and it became a little bit bobby and uh, bobbly and bumpy. But they kept going, and um, you know, I'm just very, very pleased. Very pleased.